The advantage of having a bigger family is that you have more experience interacting with like people with different personalities. All of our personalities are really unique and different in their own way. Like some people are more energetic. Some of them are just like quiet. Lots of people, they react by saying, wow, you have so many kids in your family. You're so lucky. And we are joyfully big. I'm very proud to be the father of seven children. Give birth to seven beautiful children. I consider it as the biggest blessing in my life. When I think of my family, I remember Psalm 128 verse 3, which says, your wife is a fruitful vine, and your children are olive plants around your table. We are helping each other growing closer to God. I'm a full-time music minister. I have decided to only sing for God. We both consider it as our family's mission. I come before you today And there's just one thing that I want to say God's grace is what help us to balance both the family life and, and the career. Trusting in the Lord and receiving the grace from the Lord that helps us grow our relationship. I am um, really grateful to uh, God for allowing me to give birth to seven beautiful children. The advantage of having a bigger family is that you have more experience interacting with like people with different personalities or like opinions. So that helps when you deal with conflict later on with people outside your family as well. Because not everyone's going to have a personality that gets along with you. And as for how people react to my family, they just say, wow, that's a lot of kids. Hannah takes care of the little ones. We can actually like entrust all the younger ones to her care and probably like go run errands. She's very hardworking um, and diligent. Uh, and she's very mature uh, for her age. So being one of the oldest in the family, I feel like I have a lot of responsibility just because I cook and I clean. Like everybody else, but also whenever our parents aren't home, I just, I, it's more on me and Hannah to, as the older siblings, to take care of the little ones and setting a positive example for them. Joanna, she is um, someone who tries everything and make use of all the opportunities that comes her way. She puts her best into everything that she does. Sarah um, is a gentle spirited girl and she uh, is very focused on her studies as well. She's one of the twins. Some of the most interesting activities that we do are family nights where we watch movies. And then we also do games like Uno and Spoon, which is really fun. We had a summer camp this summer. It was a middle schooler's summer camp. It was like five days. We were like staying in bunks and stuff. It was a really fun experience. Um, we had games, we had activities. We, um, we had this uh, one prayer, I think it was Lectio Divina. Um, and we like read 
passage from the Bible, and like then we talked about it and what we felt, and I really liked that. It was really like great. And on the other hand, Emma is athletic. Sarah is not, but Emma is athletic. <laughs> Having a big family or that you have, get to celebrate a lot of birthdays. And lots of people, they react by saying, wow, you have so many kids in your family. You're so lucky. And Eva, mm, she's like a leader. Um, she's very talkative. And she has um, a reason for everything that she does. This is the prayer that I do um, at bedtime every night. Thank you, Father God, for making me me. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for saving me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with me. Thank you, Mary Mary, for loving me. Thank us for my patron saint, pray for me. We have Noah, our uh, one and only boy. He's so loving and caring. Especially like if um, I am so stressed, there are instances when Noah comes and um, tells me, uh, I'll give you a hug. So he is um, a loving child uh, for sure. Uh, and Maria is only two and a half years, but definitely she has a personality. She is very outgoing and always a happy child. It's a special child of Mother Mary, yeah. And that's why we call her Maria. Family prays together, stays together. It's really true to our family. Kids, uh, overall, they understand that uh, prayer life is important in our family, and that is what gives a direction to our life. Everything works uh, for first together for good for those who love God and uh, are called according to His purpose and. Uh, to this day, that Bible verse stands true in our life. I feel like we have a um, strong shared faith in God, and that is uh, the meeting point of us, um, both of us in our life. I always make sure our family prayer happens every day. It's really a powerful time in our family. Family prayer is when we actually connect each other. Uh, sometimes we miss having um, dinner together, depending upon kids' activities and my work schedule and all, but we make sure we sit down and pray every night. Holy Mass is the main source of the grace and God's love I'm receiving in my life. Uh, and I truly believe uh, it was a great blessing from the Lord that I never miss a single Mass during, even during the pandemic too. I feel like uh, through Holy Mass, um, I get the strength and courage and um, energy to face the uh, challenges of the daily life. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As a musician, um, I'm helping um, the choir team um, in the church. I'm actively involved in um, um, helping the mass and adoration, all the spiritual, the liturgy, and, and everything related to the music. 
raising the kids in faith life um kids are involved in various activities um offered by the church parish community life is very important to us i am a person of simple faith so i always try to give my kids in a in a simple ways if they are sick um and i i used to bring them to the lord uh, and we stand in front of the divine mercy uh, picture and we pray together and we experience the the healing from the lord we have a vision of um them um being the children of god more than them being our children and um we patiently wait for god working in and then working in their lives uh, all our kids have um, daily chores and hana uh, loads the dishwasher and eva and um, nova unload uh, unloads the dishwasher and uh, jovana uh, vacuuming the carpets and emma uh, sweep uh, everywhere uh, the, the floor and um, sara will clean the counter tops and maria sometimes crying <laughs> she's a little baby so even no same chore but uh, every everybody did their chores in every day uh, every day Yeah and that's a beautiful thing uh, happening in my in my family. When raising multiple kids our time is not ours. It needs to be spent completely for the family's needs. It also needs willingness to really lay down my life selflessly for the family i had um uh, multiple um complications in most of my pregnancies um that was um at least from looking outside was a lot of struggles i um ended up um having preterm preterm labor for uh my first three pregnancies when i had my twins i had to be in the hospital for three months i'm um, trying to keep them inside and um you know being out of work for that long period of time or put financial struggles um or on our family as well but um god actually pulled us through all these um situations um and he gave us you know healthy children and uh, the means to provide for them having uh, multiple c sections was also not an easy thing uh, but we always had a good outcome we never had um complications from the surgeries uh, although um you know the medical da- data does not support it of course there is complications and i have seen um complications of um repeated c sections in my uh patients but um in my case um god was always uh, taking care of us and we um we see this as god's great providence people react differently when i say i have seven children some people say wow in admiration and some say don't worry everything will be all right especially when i say i have six girls and one boy but a lot of people say you are a blessed man i have encountered both um negative and positive reactions from people when they see our big family there are some people who always um react very encouragingly when they hear that i have seven children but um i have um 
got a lot of negative intimidating reactions also especially from um, my coworkers when i was having my um, children um, my second and third and fourth and fifth um so they all are uh, discouraged me and um always questioned me why you keep having children some people thought i am just trying to have a boy um when my first few children were girls about having kids um of course that is the one of the um purposes of marriage as catholic church teaches but uh, from my view, viewpoint being able to have children in our life is actually a blessing from god and i feel like um having children in our family is a visible sign of god's promise and god's love towards mankind because god still continue to be faithful to us by giving us new lives um but um about having um how many number of children is basically um a personal a decision that each and every couple should make basing or giving god um uh the first place in your family so it's a personal decision and choice and um about parenting styles we have a lot of resources out there that will give you information and um i think uh, when uh, we have children of course you need to read and um try to learn um, parenting styles and parenting choices and stuff you need to equip yourself uh, we don't have any special um, tips or anything or any particular style that we go by a lot of times um, a lot of things that we do with our kids is kind of like trial and error some sometimes we make mistakes and we are very forth coming in um coming in saying sorry to our kids when we um overreact to something or like punish them for something that they don't deserve to be punished but um like i mentioned earlier um we um know that lord is uh, in control of our lives and he gave our um, children to us as a gift and he definitely has a plan um in our children's lives more than what we envision in the in um, our children's lives so besides we being open to god's will in our own personal lives um uh, we are not we or we try not to be um a, an obstacle in our children's life for the will of god in uh, to happen in their lives back towards god rise up